Each year, 25 million people are displaced due to environmental disasters. Another 40 million people are living in internal displacement as a result of conflict or violence. Protracted displacement is becoming the norm, with internally displaced people in conflict situations remaining displaced for an average of 17 years. Funding is stretched and humanitarian tools alone cannot handle protracted crises. Humanitarian development and peace-building actors must work together to find solutions. At the World Humanitarian Summit in 2016, member states and other members of the international community pledged to strengthen humanitarian and development collaboration by pooling resources and capabilities towards achieving common goals of reducing needs, risks and vulnerabilities. That same year, the twin resolutions on sustaining peace called for integrated action to prioritize prevention, address root causes of conflict and support institutions for sustainable peace and development. As a key part of the Humanitarian Development Peace Nexus, IOM, along with other humanitarian development and peace-building actors, have embraced the new way of working. This emphasizes three approaches. Agree on collective outcomes. Humanitarian development and peace-building actors should work towards common goals in line with national SDG targets. They should pursue these through joint assessments, analysis, planning and programming. Long-term solutions require multi-year programming and funding, and at times joint funding. With milestones in three to five years, government ownership and donor buy-in is key. Build local capacities of communities, of local NGOs and of local authorities to reduce the drivers of need, vulnerability and risk and enhance resilience. This is sometimes referred to as localization. Each actor in the nexus should contribute towards these collective outcomes through their comparative advantage to deliver on the ground. IOM has several such comparative advantages. Through its broad mandate, it has been engaged across the humanitarian peace and development realms for a number of decades. Structurally, IOM has a dedicated transition and recovery division to ensure there is no missing middle between programs focusing solely on humanitarian or development action. Our transition and recovery activities address the causes of vulnerabilities through hybrid humanitarian and development programs tailored for crisis environments. The pursuit of common outcomes through joint approaches presents challenges, primarily in upholding humanitarian principles and maintaining humanitarian space. This requires careful context analysis and conflict sensitivity. Our locally driven programming and participatory processes promote resilience, livelihoods and social cohesion. They generate a commonality of purpose in the communities we serve that helps to prevent and resolve conflict. IOM also has a long history of engagement in reparations and transitional justice, which are key components of sustainable peace. The Humanitarian Development Peace Nexus requires a comprehensive whole-of-organization approach beyond the work of the Transition and Recovery Division. IOM has advanced partnerships in the area of health, ranging from direct service delivery through mobile clinics to training community health workers and partnering with health providers in the camps we manage to equipping and extending the reach of government health systems into displacement settings. We also have programs in counter-trafficking, humanitarian border management and diaspora engagement which are highly relevant in displacement and migration crisis situations. At the same time, with the growing recognition of the importance of migration for development, IOM's migration and development portfolio is on the increase not least to support labor mobility. In order to ensure such synergies, IOM's Migration Crisis Operational Framework, MCOF, is designed to promote a comprehensive approach before, during 
and after a migration crisis occurs.